Hello everybody. Today I want to show you how to receive a payment from a customer. So there's a couple of different ways. So first off, in my accounts receivable area, I can say new payment. And screen's pretty simple. <clears throat> I can come in here and I could do things a couple of different ways. First of all, here's the date. Let's call it a check. Here's the date of the check. So I can type in and you know maybe over five. I put in the check number. I pick the customer. I'll pick this customer just in case that there's no payment. <clears throat> and I can do one of two things. I can either put the amount in because maybe there's nothing on the check stub. It doesn't really tell me how to apply it. So maybe I have $1,000 and I just want to apply it to the oldest. Or I can come down here and hit plus. And I do have a check stub. And I can do a search of all the open invoices. So I can come in here and here's one. And they're paying, you know, maybe 35000 of this one. And then I come over here and I pick maybe another one. And they're going to pay, you know, $25 of this one. Okay. So that's an option. Um, and then I would simply come up here and put the total amount and everything matches. And then I could release the payment. The other option you can do, we'll just go back and we'll start over, is to come in here, I'll pick a date again, and another check number, I'll get creative, and we'll select a customer. And in this scenario, we're gonna say, okay, well, it's got a, he's got a, or she's got a $75,000 check, and then I wanna just load documents. Now when I hit load documents, this profile comes up, it says, okay, well, more than anything, what order do you want to have the invoices come into the system and get loaded down here? So by due date, by document date, or by reference number. So typically, when we apply, we generally apply to the oldest first. Um, so, But I can come in here and I could say load. And notice the system just paid 75000 It did that because... I didn't really have a big enough check to go through a bunch of invoices. So let's try this again. Let's change this to maybe uh, 250000 This customer owes a lot of money. And I'll hit the load button. And now what it did is it picked 76000 for the first one, and then it continued on until it ran out of money with the, the application. Okay? Okay. So that's another way you can do it. The other way you can do it, again, is simply we create a payment. I'm going to leave the date the same for purposes of time. And we simply just hit load documents. And we could pick a date filter here. And then we come in here and we could change the amounts. So I could say this is 45, this is 6,700, this is 2,450, and so on. And I could remove what I don't need. So I can hit the X button on whatever I don't need. I come up here, I confirm the payment amount, and then I release it. Now what happens when I release is Acumatica takes these documents out because this is documents to apply, and it moves it over later when I'm looking up this check, it's gonna move it over to this application history where I can see what happened. Okay, so this is the history, this is to be applied. Now, as a payment in Acumatica, we can always make a change. If I made a mistake and maybe I don't want to apply to this, I can always reverse application and start over and have a balance on this. So you can go back and forth. You can edit this payment, the application of this payment. You can't edit the payment itself. That you'd have to void. But if I come back over here and I do once again, you're wondering, Greg, when are you going to stop? creating payments here, but um, I'll pick it again. And let's say I just have a check. I don't know where to apply it, but I want to get it in the bank. It's a big check. I can come over here, put the amount in, and simply release it. Notice the available balance. Notice I didn't pick anything under documents to apply, and I'll just release it. And now this will go into the system, and I can make a deposit on this. So this will come into the system. I can deposit this. I can get it in the bank 
And then later I can come to it when the customers confirm what they were trying to pay. And then I can start to add invoices to this and go through. Okay. Thank you very much for watching.